from the old Skip Skype, the old Skype Rooney. Uh, Paul Preston is with us. He's the founder and president of the Movement for a New California State. Paul is also the host of Red State Talk Radio's Agenda 21 Radio. And uh, the new California state movement has come alive over the last five years and is now on the verge of becoming the 51st state in the union. And we welcome Mr. Preston to our lovely, lovely broadcast. And um, Paul, there, there, there is a rumor that uh, Caitlyn Jenner is going to be running for California governor. What the hell is going on out there, sir? Well, you know, um, that would be interesting. Uh, you know, we're new California. We're not old California. And how appropriate that it would be old California that would be considering that with Caitlyn Jenner. And I don't think she still had her um, surgery, though. Uh, so I don't call her Caitlyn. I call her Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce is still Bruce. Uh, he's still got the XY chromosomes. And I don't think he's had the, the alternation that is necessary for him to be called a female, but that's just me. That's no just special you. glory. For this. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I would call, I would say it, but it. Uh, <laughs> um, I would also say that uh, even it would be a better person than gruesome Newsome. That's true. That that would be true. That too. That so, would be very true. So Paul, um, we've, I've been hearing a lot about your movement ever since we've, We've had you on the various shows. Uh, tell me in the panel today a little bit about this new California state movement that, that you've got going. Well, we started this new California state movement really um, in earnest about five years ago, but it took about another 15 years in planning um, and studying all the different ways in which we could stop the totalitarian rise in California. We saw it coming years ago. Uh, I was in education for 41 years, and you could really clearly see the pattern that was developing that's ultimately led to where we're at today in California. And um, so we put this whole plan together, really starting up in earnest about five years ago. Um, a bunch of us with about three or four of the counties of California, we chartered ourselves in. And then we've grown from the original four counties being chartered uh, into California, New California, up to 56, either part of the 56 counties or whole counties of the 58 counties of California. And we have active organization. Um, we've had uh, a declaration of independence that we've filed. We have uh, read in the public square for 140, uh, 46 weeks now, uh, a grievance every week in all the counties of California. And uh, just to say our complaints against Gavin Newsom, we are responsible for his recall because of all of it. We were the only one complaining for two years in advance of the recall papers coming out. Um, on a, on a weekly basis. Uh, we've had seven constitutional conventions. We've put together uh, two constitutions uh, at this point in time. We've passed 26 resolutions. And, uh, you know, we're just on our way to becoming a state. We're suing Gavin Newsom right now as we speak. In fact, I just was on the phone with uh, our legal counsel about the lawsuit. And we I spend a lot of time doing that these days. But it looks like uh, it's, we have a very, very strong case. And then, I was told to shut up about it just about 10 minutes ago, so I, I can't tell you all about it. Um, just what it was, But it's a very strong case, and um, you'll be hearing about it because um, it's uh, it's very important. But we are moving. Uh, we, we, I, we achieved what we call constitutional status uh, as an organization, and uh, we actually submitted a, a, an amicus brief and was taken in by the Supreme Court uh, the first time a state in development has ever been taken in for any case and any, under any circumstance by the United States Supreme Court. So um, our recognition is growing, and we intend to, to become a state probably, I think, within a year. Well, well I, are you I, northern, I, northern counties or southern counties? Northern. Well, no, no, it's not really northern. Um, the, count, the state itself is divided up by population. And what yeah. we did is we said, okay, we have 40 million people. Where do they live? And uh, when, we, when we asked that question, we found that 20 million people live in the urbanized areas of Los Angeles, Sacramento, and uh, San Francisco. And the rest of the people live in the rural areas of California. Right. And people don't understand that California is about 90% rural in landmass. So right. we're taking over that 90% rural area of California for New California. 
Paul, did this have something to do with um, the, uh, the State of Jefferson movement? That uh, I actually interviewed the founder of that movement, I don't know how many years ago, probably five, six years ago, maybe when I was right. on Red State Talk Radio, actually. But my question to you is this. Um, we've seen lots of uh, secession movements throughout our history. Um, we've seen them from Kentucky, from Virginia, from New Hampshire, from all over the place, really. We've even seen other movements, even in California. We've seen the Greater uh, Oregon one, uh, Greater Idaho, I think it was, that uh, right. last year, a year and a half ago. But my question is, how can we get these done? Because, again, I'm, I'm in favor of secession. I believe we should be the United States of America, but we also have the Supremacy Clause of the U.S. Constitution, which clearly states that we are one land. That's how we kept this quote-unquote perfect little union together for so right. long. So without an appeal of the um, Supremacy Clause, which again, I doubt would ever happen, how then can we actually get a secession movement to not only take hold and take place, but to actually be legitimized? Well, the, the key thing, we're, see, we are legitimized, and that was why you know our, our attorneys tell us that we have long reached constitutional status by what we've accomplished so far, and then that gets into the Declaration of Independence, the grievances, the constitutional conventions, we've established a government, we've passed resolutions, and so on. That's given us constitutional status. We're now in the courts. Um, we have uh, joined the Supreme Court of Mikas. We've got now our own court case going against Gavin Newsom, which is a very serious case, court case. And uh, with that, we've established status. The other ones haven't established status and never have had status, primarily because they did not follow the Constitution to begin with. And we follow Article 4, Section 3 of the Constitution, uh, basically following behind the model of the last time it was successful, and that was in West Virginia. West Virginia in 1861 became a state using this process. And so when we looked at the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, we found the toolkit. Now we needed the role model, and West Virginia was that role model for us. So we've structured ourselves very similarly. That's why we've been able to gain ground, and that's why we've, we've gotten so close now to statehood um, that we think that it's going to happen it could happen very suddenly, given the circumstances out there. But it also, yeah, I think it's more likely it's going to happen over maybe about the next 10 to 11 months, maybe 12 months. Are you, um, are you worried about butting up against the Supremacy Clause, though? No. Uh, in fact, the Supremacy Clause um, basically says that there are no laws that can be greater than any law um, of the United States Constitution by a state. Correct. And so um, we are not, we're following the Constitution, so we're thereby obliging that, the Supremacy Clause, and we're utilizing it for our own good because we are agreeing that in our Constitution, the, the Supremacy Clause, Article 6 of the Constitution, will be the supreme law of the land, and we would include ourselves in, in that. And the West Virginia... I hope it works. It, no, it's working. Uh, see, it's working. It's actually working and happening and not... Um, it's it, it's amazing. We've been uh, we've done. Listen to this. California is a dead state. It's not functioning in its government. Um, none of its representatives. They have 120 representatives, and none of them are doing any work to help with anything. Yeah, I'm on the the air. state does not um, it is not educating the children because it's closed the schools because it doesn't have money to 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 pay for it. And it looks like with the structural deficit that they have. Next year, California will not have enough money to school the children next year or the year after that. So schools will be closed. Now, that's not acceptable to us in New California. So we're, we're putting together a task force, and we're going to put together an educational system so kids will have a place to go to school next year, starting in September. And we're working on that. In fact, I just came from a meeting in which I made a presentation in part about that. Um, so... Uh, we're working very diligently will, behind the scenes will you, in the government that they're, that we do not have. Will you have electoral votes? Will you have representatives? Will you have a senator? Will yes. you have all those things? Right uh, Currently, right now, um, we actually have made that uh, every one of our counties have a senator. That's significant because we're going to bust open Reynolds versus Sims. But yes, we in California, we get half of what California, or New California, we get half of what California currently has. So there's uh, 53 members of the House of Representatives. We would get 26. 
Um, there is 55 electoral votes. We would get 27 of the 55 plus the two senators. And quite frankly, uh, if you take a look at the seats that are out there, the 25 that we would get for the House of Representatives, we're going to probably pull in 24 or 25 seats for uh, conservative Republicans. Can I, but the, uh, West Virginia uh, became a state because of the Civil War. Right. Uh, you, you, you need, uh, uh, and there were a couple of, of uh, uh, hoops that were jumped uh, uh, to, to do it uh, simply because they wanted those uh, counties that counted on the Union side. But um, I, I guess my question uh, really, well, my first question is, who would ever move to California right now, given everything that's happened? Oh. But, uh, um, but if you, um, what is, uh, well, let me, let me rephrase it. How is um, the, uh, the California governor, government going to stop you? Well, it's, it's, uh, the problem is, is that the California government can't stop us uh, because they don't have the financial wit wherewithal to stop us. And you also have a lot of senators and s assembly members in the legislature that are legally uh, compromised, shall I say, um, and they're, 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 they're being found out. Uh, when we go before the California state legislature, um, the founding fathers basically said, all you need is a resolution, a simple resolution by each body of the assembly, such as the House or the Assembly and the Senate, uh, to a, pass a resolution. It's the lowest bar of any piece of legislature is a resolution. And then we would move on to the Congress. So um, they're going to be very willing to work with us because they need to find a way financially how to get out of their trouble. And we would, rec we would, of course, have a package that would be available to help them get out of their financial problems as well as uh, move us forward as a new state. Yeah, uh, exactly, in lieu of you letting us go. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. That's right. That's smart. Yeah. That's actually a smart way to do it. We'll bail out your bad behavior for this right. one time, but you need to let us leave. Uh, I think that's a wonderful idea. I love it. Yeah, and there, um, you know, we have a number of legislators. I say in the whole 120, there's only five decent legislators because they're so liberal and so compromised. Right. But uh, even some of those liberal ones get that, what you just said. They get it, and they're like, wow, we, we really can get ourselves out of this problem. And yes, you can. You can but, do that by so giving them for freedom. You're in effect, but I want a divorce. You're going right. to, in fact, give them... a a pot of money to leave? Uh, well, no, it wouldn't work out like it's a pot of money. But over I time, uh, it can't happen all at one time. But over time, uh, we will have a free market economy, and so will they. We're going to make demands on them that they're probably not going to like. But because of our circumstance, uh, with our credit situation being a new state and also a wherewithal, and we're going to have a free market economy, company, something they don't understand, um, we're going to be in a lot better sit position to negotiate with them and tell them what we expect. And some of those things that we would expect is, is that they would stand behind the retirement system, CalPERS and STRS, um, and make good on all those payments uh, that, that are owed to people. Most of the people, that would, a lot of the people who live in New California depend upon those retirement systems. I do on one of them. So we're going to make sure that the state holds its heels on that one. Um, but we are going to, uh, you know, be a, a, a good state to California, and we want to see California succeed and be a positive influence um, on the whole union of states as much as we do. We wanted a win-win for California as it would be a win-win for us because it doesn't make a lot of sense to basically leave that state in worse condition than what we, you know, left it in. Right. Um, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. California right now has an outside influence on the rest of the country. Yet you're saying I want to take away half of that influence and create a state which is essentially would be the anti-California state, a conservative state, and you expect them to to um, roll over and let you do it. Uh, oh yeah, they're I'm a little cynical. Back. No, I understand. They'll probably roll over three or four times in agreement with us. And the reason is they don't have the money. And uh, they're destitute, literally. 
and those chickens are coming home to roost on them in a very big way. Um, already people are delivering affidavits to these representatives. People are serious and see people are upset at the way the whole state has handled the COVID thing, but also, you know, you've got Lockdowns. everything going on with businesses and the loss of businesses and all that stuff. So um, people are not happy campers with the state right now. Well, I, I, I live right, uh, right across, uh, totally across the country from you. So I, I'm, I'm not up day to day, but but it just seems to me that the, the political, the way the political winds blow in California, uh, or, uh, if that ha if you happen, you were pulled off to one of the great uh, events of history. I just can't, uh, yep. uh, I just cannot see you succeeding. Yet um, um, I, I wish you well. Because I agree with well, you. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm just being. Uh, it's hard to see. Don, yeah. let me let me let me interject real quick. Well, Don, you've also said that I should forget about the 2020 <laughs> election and that we should just concentrate on 2022. And I said that I can chew gum and walk at the same time. Well, guess what? Right now they are training for the audit that's going to start tomorrow morning. They are bringing in the ballots. There is security. There is security in, in the Coliseum, number one. So the pettiness of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors saying that you can't use the tabulation center was actually a gift in disguise because now we went to the Coliseum, which seats 14,000 people. And oh, by the way, had it's already had its in-house in, uh, in security team and surveillance cameras. So what did they do? They added more surveillance cameras. Every single table is set up with a camera directly over it. The whole thing is on azaudit.org for the public to view. There are over 350 patriots down there uh, making sure that things are going right, as well as there's a gated, uh, like, fenced area where you can't get in because there's security <laughs> there. There's plainclothes officers and also officers in uniform. So we are getting the forensic audit done, and it's starting tomorrow morning. So for Paul... And in the new California, we can never say never because the thirst that. for freedom and, and, and prosperity and liberty is stronger than anything on earth. I couldn't agree, agree with you more. Um, yeah. Uh, um, you, you, you don't cast me wrong. I, I, I wish him well because California is such a beautiful state. And where he's been, uh, I've lived in Reno. Which I don't know is in one of your uh, uh, counties or not. Excuse uh, me, one second. Yeah, you guys, you guys have a, uh, a you know, just just like Don said, you kind of have an uphill battle, but at the same time, you have laid out uh, all the steps. You've gone, you're going through all the the proper ways and material. I I I think you got a pretty good shot of getting this done, Paul. Well, you know, we hope not, you get it done. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, um, I, I really thank you for the comments. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, like I tell people, we are getting it done. We're in process. It's happening. It's not a woulda, coulda, shoulda, and I wish it was <laughs> type of proposition at this point because we're actually moving forward. And, yeah. um, you know, today uh, we're, I'm off to another meeting. When I get done with this one, I'm off to another meeting. And tomorrow I'm off to another meeting. And Saturday we're off to, we're just traveling all over the state. And more and more people are coming on board, um, which is really exciting to see. And we're getting more calls from out of state, people wanting to move back in. Uh, the number one state in which they're wanting to leave is uh, Texas. Uh, people want to come back to New California okay. from Texas. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of interesting. But I listen, we welcome all people that are going to be here legally. We're not going to welcome people that are illegal. You know, we don't we don't believe in that. Um, if they want to get themselves legal, that's great. They have a way to do that. That's great. But um, my point is, is that uh, by all legal means, uh, people should, if they want to get here, get here. And we won't have a problem with that. Wow. So uh, if, if you uh, started after you retired, you shouldn't make a, a very prosperous retirement for this country. Thank you. So uh, as we wrap up here, let's start with IQ Al Rizzoli. Uh, IQ, your 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 thoughts on this and and how we get the books and everything then. 
Well, first of all, I am so happy that somebody is fighting back. Whether it's California or anywhere else, somebody is standing up to be counted. And I wish Paul and his organization the best. Mm -hmm. um, yes. All anybody needs to do is Google my name, Al Rasuli, A L R A S W O L I, and they want to know anything about Islam, you will find it all there. I wish you all the best of luck. So, uh, Josh, how, how do we get in touch with you and, and get involved with the website and everything else? Josh Bernstein, uncensored.com. If it's banned on social media, you'll find it there. Um, not a conservative news echo chamber. I'm an investigative journalist. I do uh, very in-depth um, exposés and investigations on lots of different things. I cover topics that the reg regular media will never cover. And, uh, and even if they do cover it, it'll be taken down from social media. So check it out, Josh Bernstein, uncensored.com. Find out why I get 10,000 attacks a week. And uh, Paul Preston, how, how do we get in touch with you and New California State and everything, my friend? Well, you, um, the best thing to do is to get to um, newcaliforniastate.com, newcaliforniastate.com. And then also ncs51.com, and you can check out the radio show. We go live and we live stream it um, by going to a21r.com. That's a21r.com, and that's the best way to get a hold of us and watch and become a part of this. The show is on Red State Talk Radio from 6 a.m. Pacific to 9 a.m. Pacific, and we have a lot, a lot of people coming on board now. It's really, it's really exciting, and I want to thank all of you guys for uh, having us on and. Uh, Let's do 